We are in the chair today, and y'all know what that means. I hope y'all know what that means, at least, because I don't, I don't know what else I'm doing that possibly require a chair. But we're doing well in the fairways again, and like y'all saw in the last video, didn't do it. Did not do it, dog. I don't know what it is. Actually, I know exactly what it is. I keep my code here talking about I don't know what it is. I know what it is. But and we're just going to skip right into this. Or we're just going to jump right into it. I don't know what else I can say. Besides, like, I don't know, bro. But yeah. And also, this is a big turning point right here. Because I feel like I'm going to adjust this series just a little bit. Where I think this is going to be our last time with this bag. Trying to go to McCullough Longs and doing this uh, series with this bag. I think I'm going to switch it up to where I'm going to start off a new bag. And if we get stuck at one specific area for, I'll say, three tries, then we'll have to reset the whole bag. So that's what we're going to do. This will be our last time actually going to McCullough Park and actually playing with all these discs. Just for the fact that I know that premium plat or uh, what is it? Baseline plastic really does get beat in super quick, and I really don't want to be like completely destroying these discs. And there's no point of me even throwing them by the end of the by the end of the what is it called? By the end of the series, if we do end up finishing our full bag. So yeah, whenever we reach up to that point where we go to one course and we lose three times, or we don't hit our line three times, we're gonna go ahead and restart this whole thing back. But that. Is one thing that we're gonna be changing up. Also, another thing is how we actually upgrade uh, our disc. So let's just say we do go to McCola and we don't shoot the three under. Then in the next video, I'm gonna be doing a lot more explaining. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be doing a lot more explaining on how we're gonna be upgrading these discs. But if we do end up going and playing this through, uh. Still in the next video, y'all still get how we're gonna be upgrading these discs, and also there'll probably be a little finer, a little bit more uh, tweaks here and there. So we can finally get this episode or this uh, series booming. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into these wheel spins. I know I was just yapping about, but it's time for us to get into the, to the serious part of this video. Or y'all came here, so we're gonna go ahead and spin this wheel right here and see what we could get okay so it looks like it's gonna be landing on random disc company okay i don't know how i'm gonna do this i think i'm just gonna try to figure out how many disc companies are on the infinite disc website and we're just gonna do a random number generator random number generator from one through whatever it is there are 75 different companies on the infinite disc website so we'll go ahead alrighty so yeah there are 75 different companies that are actually on this uh on the infinite disc website so we'll go ahead and just do like a random number generator onto here to see what we get we got one through 75 and we'll go ahead and click generate and we got 29 so i know this is 13 26 27 28 29 Gateway. We just got the wizard last video. I don't think we want that. It's gonna be kind of hard to say what we kind of want. But I know we want something just a tiny bit flippy. So I don't know if these discs are gonna be actually as flippy. I just don't know if we go ahead and go with the putter. Either. I don't. I really don't want to waste the the chance I might not be able to get a driver here. I think we're just gonna try the realm maybe. Or is there like a, I don't think there is like a big outlier whenever it comes to this. 12, 5, negative, 0 0.5, 0 0.5. This is kind of like that pharaoh that we got. Or whatever the, I forgot what it is. The infinite disc, disc that we got. But I don't think I want something. I want something that, uh, but I said I do want something kind of a little bit overstable too. Ah, this is the only thing I'm worried about. Either the illusion or the realm. The realm looks like it might be a little bit more of what we want. The 12, 5, negative 1, 3. I'm pretty sure this might be a little bit better just with the forehand. 
because that fades a lot more heavy hopefully this fade is a whole lot heavier on the round than it is on the illusion so that's where we're gonna go ahead yeah we're gonna go ahead and just take the round with our first choice and we're just gonna be praying that it's overstable if it ain't we're gonna be in a whole lot of danger dog especially depending on what the wind is looking like for that day that we actually do go out and play okay so here we go into the bend the wheel see what else we can get man we need something like a putter at least putter hey random speed wheel this could be good and this could be not as good it's actually it's better than nothing honestly or better than some of the baseline stuff that we have on here I'm gonna go ahead and go random speed wheel see what we can get man looks like it's gonna be a low speed so putter maybe that's gonna be good so it's two speed that's what i like to see right there so we get to get any two speed that we want and we probably be going with the putter that we could cut and throw we might go with something that's a little bit more familiar to us we're gonna be going looking at the this craft stuff there's pretty much all the putters are two speeds there are some like the luna that's one that's three speed and two speed is honestly relative to a lot of these companies because not all companies are on the same flight uh flight flight charts and also the what is it called the plastic that we're also gonna be getting out of this it's gonna be different too yeah jk pro avr two speed casey pro avr two speed that's a nice overstable putter oh you know what could be really good i think i just got an idea i really did just get an idea we might be looking at the oh uh, the envy's just barely it's a three speed dog but there is another disc from mvp that i do like that right there is nomad so the nomad i can actually throw it and i could put with it so this could be good but is there something else that maybe might be a little bit better honestly i think the nomad might be the best bang for our buck right here because i mean throwing it is going to be good but also putting with it is going to be a little bit good as well i just don't know if i if i get one in like a premium plastic i'll be able to have it in my bag for longer but it won't be able to put as good as a baseline would yeah, so I think that's what we're gonna go with. We're gonna go ahead and go with just the baseline nomad. I could throw it and I could put with it pretty easily, and I won't have no problems with it. But we're on to our last and final spin, which is gonna be our challenge wheel. And also, I need y'all to start commenting, man. See what we can add on these challenge wheels and also on the main wheel too, because I mean, right now I got a very few, which I could think of some more, but I just really haven't. Let's see what we're gonna have here. Ooh, okay, so this one's gonna be kind of tough. Hit basket off tee, especially going from the longs. It could be, it is quite challenging. If it was the shorts, we might have like a lot better of a chance or even like a lot of these other courses could have a good chance, but hitting basket off the tee is gonna be kind of wild. But that's gonna do it for the wheel spins. And like I said, this might be our, or this will be our last time actually going out to McCola, whether we complete it or we don't. But yeah, we're just gonna have to wait and see what the future holds. And also we could get that three, three under. Much rather get the three under so we keep what we have right now and now to start over. But I'm pretty sure, I like the way that the direction that this bag is starting to progress. And then also one big, big major key that if we don't, actually complete this then we're actually going and upgrading the bag that we're going to be using throughout this series but if we're just going to keep on going then we're just going to finish out this so we get stuck again and then we'll restart and fit, get a better bag but right now yeah we're just going to keep on going seeing how far we can actually take this who knows maybe this is the time that we actually get to shoot it but anyways yeah that's it for me right here that's it for uh what is it called chair isaac 
go ahead and throw it over to this golf plane as you can see if he to deliver that three under alrighty we're out here at McCola and this is gonna be definitely our last time coming out here whether or not we do the three under or we don't do the three under so it also don't mind don't mind my hair it's gonna slowly get worse over the video but starting that whole one going with our truth again so we get just highs a flip over there to the right Ah, too much. All right, that's gonna be a long comebacker. See if we can get something right there. But typically I miss left, so I wanted to make sure I miss right here. here. Alrighty, tough little putt right here, but we got the Nomad in, and we also got the Realm in the bag as well. So, see if we can make one, and also drinking on the Rain Infernal Red Dragon. So, has to be a good putt, right? That's at least what I'm thinking to myself. But I also don't want to start off with a four, so we might give this one just like a little soft bid. Warm ourselves up into the rest of the course. Yeah. Can't afford to take a four on the first one, because then we'll be crawling back the entire time. Much rather want a two. But we'll take a three all day. Here's another one that we tend to miss a lot left on. So we're going to go to our compass. I feel like we're throwing these two on the... We probably need to switch up these two. But like I said, this is our last time coming to McCullough. So it doesn't really matter. We're just going to go with whatever feels good. And right now it feels like the compass. But we can't miss right. I feel like that's why I miss every single time with that right tree on the right. Yeah, we missed it right again. I meant to put down some hyzer and let it flip and hold, but it, I just do it flat and it just held. Okay, this is typically a hard shot with the disc that I have. So I think we're just gonna go with something a little bit more flippier with the forehand, like a truth. So we just get it to hold left and who knows, maybe throw one in. What is the little holding thing, right? It just, Never faded. Probably with the zone, especially throwing it that soft, probably could have got something to flex out a little bit more. And also, like I said about the series, there's gonna be a lot more rule changes. I don't know if I, I don't know how I'll implement them going forward onto the season that we have on right now. If we do end up completing this three under, we're gonna have to figure out some way. Plus, I need to figure out the different ways I want to continue this for the fact that I mean we could it's pretty calm out here today too so doing the three under is not impossible especially going par par right here if we get a par on this next one it'll be even more doable but like I said just just being able to implement all the roll changes right now but I don't think we're gonna I don't think we'll upgrade the bag just yet We'll probably wait till the actual new season to actually upgrade the new bag. But I think a bigger bag will be a lot beneficial because we get to get more courses in and we can fit more discs. But we got the realm right here. Gateway. Never really even thrown Gateway, honestly. Let alone their distance drivers. So let's just see if this... The last time I did this, I think I did this in this field. And it was a little bit stable, but we got like a little right to left wind. Or right to left head wind. So I think we're just gonna flip, Heiser flip something up the middle and see if we get it to punch through the wind. So it is stable. So probably flat with that would have been, would have been real nice. Get a little flexy out of it. And this is probably the farthest we've ever been off the tee on this hole. So. Kind of want to just throw a forehand up there. I think a putt. I won't be able to get it all the way up there. But with the zone, we could probably try to throw it in. Oh, not if you throw it that high. Now we're going to have a long comeback here. But we got a stable putter, so putting into a headwind. Or it'll be kind of like a right to left tailwind. Probably shouldn't be 
too hard. Alrighty, we got straight right to left right here. So let's see if we can make one. It'll get raised up by the wind, so let's plan for that. Ah, and we just left it way too right. We trusted the wind too much, or we had too much faith in the wind to bring it back right. Dang it, did not want to take a bogey throughout the first three holes, but looks like if we make this, that's what we're going to be taking. But at least this is more of a favorable wind. I don't got to worry about the wind too much right here. Just got to put it normally. Like I said, I ain't really too worried about that wind. The right slats one is really where I kind of struggle because it's just going to swoop your disc, especially because I'm more of like a hyzer putt player. So anytime I have a right slats one, that thing is just going to raise and go left. So we're on this little tricky thing of a hole. And I don't ever know what to do here. There is like a spike hyzer line right here, but those trees are too high. So I don't like that. And I've been trying to go for that, but I've been hitting that right tree, as you've seen from the last videos. I just don't know if we should throw something state or flippy up the middle and see if we get it to fade right and then go back left. Or if it's just a forehand with the realm, low, turn, and then skip. I think I like that better. My chances of actually hitting that are a lot greater than the flippy backhand with the wraith. So I think we just got to make sure we keep this one low and at least a little bit of turn on it. Oh, we didn't turn it as much and we didn't keep it low. So those two things that we said that we're gonna do and we didn't do them, but should be easy up and down right there. Like I said, it's just nothing but a simple up and down right here. A uh, little forehand zone action. Got to tell when, so it'll stable this up a little bit more. And I did not turn it. Ah, now we got a decent little putt for our three. Alrighty, same little putt that we had on the last hole. So we missed the last one a little bit right, or a little bit left, I should say. So this one probably need to aim just a little bit more right. No, we missed the left a little bit. It still went in, but kind of want to get this one right because we do that same putt, we'll miss way left. So I need to aim a little bit more right right here. Don't got to worry about the wind too much again. Oh, that's just dirty, man. Put it exactly where we wanted to. It just did not stick. So now we got to get the rest of these to shoot ah, three under. All right, you saw on this one, I think we're gonna go with the realm again. I'm just gonna do a little forehand. Now we gotta actually keep this one low this time. Because last time we did not keep it low. Kept it. Ah, dang. So we need to keep it low, did not do that. All right, for us to even keep our hopes alive, we need something crazy here. So if we get this zone on turn, I feel like our our accuracy has been there. Just our, the turn, how we want it though, the disc has not been there. So let's just do that. And we did it again. We just released that one flat. <sighs> now if we make that, I think we'll just need an ace. And of course, I always get those. Come on. Let's just at least give ourselves a chance to where if we do ace, then it'll be like the greatest clutches moment. Come on, let's make at least one putt today. Ah, oh, straight band, dude. Ah, oh, dang it, that one felt good too. There's not enough wind to where that was gonna drop, but that one came out so clean and on and online, so. Not mad about the putt, just uh, need to be better, man. Just need to be better. Okay, now that we got no chance of coming back, we're just gonna be playing fun right here. We're gonna try to make our way back to one under for the entire round, or for the entire rest of this nine holes. So we gotta start here. We are three over right now. So let's see if we can work our way back up to 
even and then we just need the last hole to shoot under par ah that's never gonna do it I don't know the last time I did that river I thought it was a little bit more stable but we do got like a little bit of right to left wind so trying to get it to hazard flip and fly straight over there probably wasn't gonna happen so I don't know what I was thinking also in the comments if y'all can y'all let me know because I've been thinking about of course we could do this where we just start off with a, like base a starter set uh dx plastic but I was thinking maybe what if we did like we start off with one disc and we just add two other discs while we're going throughout the series just so we like we're not stuck with throwing a dx rate every single time but we start off with like maybe like a we start off with like a putter and then like our first two rolls and we just work our way there. So I can start with like the lowest level of courses and then work my way up to the biggest level of courses. Or do y'all like this idea of where um, throwing a complete starter set and just trying to upgrade it. So y'all let me know in the comments down below if y'all like that idea. But let's just see if we can throw one in. So we got to turn on that one. Where we're, we're, that one we wanted to throw it flat and we got to turn. But I know for this course, like this long layout, you have to at least yeah, at least three birdies on the back nine to shoot good. Cause I know the front or the short or the regular layout or the short layout, you could it's just birdies out there. So this one is kind of tough. I think even my normal bag, this is kind of tough as well. Ah, oh, that's just way too high. But yeah, like, with my normal bag, this is tough. I think one of the times I came out here, and I was just like, I wonder what I would shoot with my normal bag. And I think I ended up walking out of here one to two under. So I know that. But that was also whenever I wasn't throwing as good as I feel like I am right now. I know this isn't the best showcase of what my new form is looking like and how it's shooting, but I also don't have the normal disc I use. So with that realm being overstable, a lot of these longer holes, motorcycle, but a lot of these longer holes, I can't really get to them because I think typically I throw stuff that's just a tiny bit more a ton of bit less stable and I can get actual hyzer flips turns and going out out there with those discs but I also, I also have it came out here and threw uh, my normal bag with the new form out here just yet so that'll probably be something that we do later down in the road to see how far we have come because eventually we'll be back at this course but if since it's not looking like we're gonna be coming out here anytime soon or until we finish up what is it called the next few videos then we don't really have to worry about this course yet but like i said the next time we do start this series it's gonna be bigger better stronger not nah, just playing but it is gonna be a lot more improved a lot of things are going to be a lot more uh, planned out. With this series, I just honestly just jumped right into it. And, and honestly, it did pretty good. Better than what I anticipated it was going to be. So I honestly do appreciate y'all for that. And I feel like it does got potential. It's just we got to fine tune things, get everything situated. And more planned out. And I feel like this is like a little test run to see how it's going to be. And so, yeah, we're just going to go on from that. Now that I know that it is going to be good, we're going to have to just improve the quality, man. But either way, we're here, hole seven, and we got a bomber. So let's just see what this realm can actually do. Uh, we haven't really thrown a full power shot. I know on three, it might look like it, but we did not throw a full power shot. We honestly just threw a shot that would... Suffice if I would have threw this flat. If I would have threw it flat on hole three, it would have actually turned. But since I threw it just super nose up and into the wind, it just flew straight for a long time and then just died off. 
So let's just see if we could possibly get something. I think we might just go right of this tree. See if we get a little skip left. So I probably can't even get a full shot because there are people walking off on whole flies basket. And I'm not trying to hazard onto that and hit somebody. Ah, do it far right. I was playing it too safe. But we are on the outside of the trees. If we did that, probably the line I wanted to, we're probably going to hit one of those trees, honestly. So I think either way, we're in the same spot that we would have been if we had do a good shot as well. Think about this, though. This, this round, we haven't had any highlight-worthy things. We've had normal puts, but we haven't had highlight-inducing throws. So let's see if we get a highlight-inducing throw right here. We got the zone. It's probably about like a good 100 feet away, maybe like 85. So let's just see if we throw one in. Oh, that was close. That was right angle and everything. Could have threw one in right there. Alrighty, high level gameplay right here. We're gonna throw the realm again. Just, it just seems like a fun disc, honestly. It's just stable, fast, and it won't make the bag, but I mean, it'd be fun to probably do a disc review on it. I think this is one that barely came out as well from Gateway. I know they got the realm and the spell. So maybe a disc review coming soon to y'all. But let's just see how this thing flies. We got people on the left side. They shouldn't come into play if we throw a good shot. But I can't get that in my head because I wouldn't throw it over there anyways. So we don't have to play extra safe. Just trust your skills. And I don't know. They're getting closer over here. And I also don't know how a lot of people talk about this, but like companies making destroyer type mold, they're cool and all. But I mean, I also don't know. I mean, if somebody did it, if somebody once did it perfectly, why not copy them? But I don't know. Don't know how I feel about different manufacturers trying to create the same thing. Oh, that's way too high. Okay, good thing you hit the tree. We have. A decent amount, a decent looking putt. Okay, this is probably the dumbest. Sir? Have, have keys? No, sir. <laughs> I'll wait for this dude to walk through. Because, I mean, he lost some keys, so he was talking to me on the last hole. But, yeah. So we're going to be coming back, and honestly, I don't know if I should tell y'all where we're actually going to, but just know it is one of the smaller courses out here, and after that, we'll move on to a tinier bit, more, it's like a step up. So I only did this course because I, the small, the short layout is easy, but the longer layout is a little bit tougher. So I honestly thought, I actually didn't know, I didn't realize how tough the, oh dang, my freaking mic came off. But I didn't know how tough the actual long pads were going to be because I really came out here. But now that I know that the long pads are a little bit tougher, then we'll start off on some of the really easier courses and then work our way back up over here. This will have to be like one where we have at least like 10 to 15 discs in our bag. And then we'll probably come out here and play the shorts first and then the longs. Because I really didn't know how hard this course was going to be. Oh, I just get past that. Is that going to hit that dude? Nope, we should be good. Oh, but we're on the basketball court, so. I got there pretty fast. I need to measure that one to see how far that one went. Cause that was kind of bombed. Oh, I almost hit the basket. Alrighty. But yeah, like I was saying, we're gonna work our way up from a little carry-on bag that fits like maybe like five or six discs. And then we'll move our way up to that bag. And then we'll probably make our way up to 
like a not too big of a bag because I mean eventually of course there are like crazy big bags that fit at least like up to 30 discs but we'll work our way up to something that is probably like my normal bag probably just a little bit smaller maybe and then we'll see what we do from there because I kind of I, I need to see how long this series could last I know working our way up to a full bag probably takes some time but I also don't want this to take too much time because eventually it would just get too out of hand to where we're just adding too many discs but I think comfortably maybe 20-25 discs and that's including two putters I think I think that's what we're gonna do we might just do one putter that we use for the entire thing but yeah work our way up to at least like 25 discs so it could be like relatively long but relatively short and I could probably record like at least like three four seasons in a year and so yeah got a lot of planning to do either way but yeah that's it for Macola. so we're not gonna be here next within the fairways we'll probably end up being like i said at that small little course and we're gonna start off with the baseline uh like starter set i gotta go find some more baseline discs to actually use for that like i said we'll probably start off with like a bag that holds five discs like a little carry-on carry-on bag and then once it gets to like around fifth or around like 12 to 15 discs, then we'll upgrade to this trooper bag. And then once we get around to like 15 to 20 discs, then we'll upgrade to a bigger bag that will hold the rest of them. Yeah, that's going to do it for the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.